Hey there, Kevin Colby here. Today I want to talk a little bit about audio, like trying to get the best audio you can in editing. Now, here's a pro tip. Whenever you're recording audio, the best thing to do, if you can, try to get the audio setting as near as perfect when you're recording, whether in camera or to an external recorder. Like, I would say all of my audio is recorded directly into camera. That's not to say that sometimes you don't need to tweak it some. So, in this video, I want to show you the steps I go through to adjust my audio and get my audio sounding just mm, super sweet in Final Cut Pro. Now, if you don't use Final Cut Pro, I guess this would work in other programs. I don't know. Final Cut Pro is what I use. So I want to hop on it now and show you the steps I use. These are ones I use every time I edit, and I think you're going to find them super simple. And guess what? There's no plugins. There's nothing extra to buy. Everything I'm going to show you comes built into Final Cut Pro. Let's hop on the computer. The first tip is change the view of the clip. Now, here's what I mean. You go over here to this little film strip icon, and when you click it, this is the default Final Cut gives you, but I like to choose this. Now, your video is still there. Let me close this. Your video is still there, but if you notice what happens now, it's just showing you the audio track. Now, you can actually even go back and expand it. You can make it bigger or, or longer like that. You can make it taller. But every time I'm editing, this is how I edit because I just want to see my audio. Okay, something else I do is I keep my meter over to the right. Now, if you don't do that, a lot of times it'll just appear up here. Now, if I hit play, you'll still see it. You'll see it and you can hear it. But I like to keep mine to the right. Now, you can expand it if you want. This is another thing you can do if I can grab it like this. So if I hit play here, you'll see it going. I tend to keep mine as small as possible and you'll still see it kicking right in here and all of these and you want to try and keep your audio around minus six i know it says zero minus six is really about 100 that's where i keep my audio but that's my other tip is keeping it over here to the right the next couple of tips we're going to use the inspector so now if you don't see your inspector open you click on the little icon right there and we'll open this a lot of times it defaults to more of your video type uh, elements. Click on the little sound icon. Now you get a lot of options. And one of the things that Final Cut Pro has added is this called voice isolation. So let me just play the clip first. That you get a lot out of it. As always, I am here if you need anything. Now the audio sounded pretty good in this to begin with, but what I do is I turn voice isolation on. And what it does is it literally isolates using some kind of AI. I don't really know how it a works. Lot out of it, as always, I am here if you need anything. And as we go through... And it makes the voice sound better. Now, you can reduce this. I mean, you can reduce this. You can increase this. I have found that the more you increase it, it just doesn't sound real. And if you want to see a video I did on the voice isolation part, check the link down in the description. And I, and I really put it through its paces outside on a busy street. And it's pretty phenomenal. Another thing I do is turn loudness on. Now, if let me play it again the way it is. And welcome to the new class. This is a swivel. Did you hear that? Course. I'm really it got excited. louder. Now, this is different than raising the volume. You can do that as well, but I find that this sounds better. Again, it defaults to 40%, the uniformity 8%. A lot of times I'll reduce it. So let's just say we make this at 30%. About this one, I'm excited about it's with it on, them, but this one just feels a off, little bit different and very on. me. So I am hoping that. And again, I think this is, is easy to do to make it sound better. Okay, another tip is using the range tool. Now I've got a different clip here. And if you notice right here, let me make it a little bigger. There's a, there's a spike in the audio right here. Let me just play that. And you, and you can tell that and outside now you hear that and you notice right here if you watch the vu meter on the right it clip it, it, it the audio clips now if you go to here the shortcut is r but you can click click range selection now watch this when i do this it it, what it does is it's kind of setting keyframes and i can bring that down as as much as you want you can bring it to zero but and notice it's still there, but you can do this on anything. I could do this on a voice if I wanted to. So let me go back here. Let me make this uh, a little smaller. 
but let's just say right here, this line out is is a little too loud. I can do the range tool, and what it does is it's allowing you to raise and lower the sound there. Now you can also I'm going to go back and take it out of there. So you since these now are what's what are keyframes you can even move the keyframe so if you wanted it to go here a little bit more but this is a really quick cool uh, a tool uh using the range tool just to uh to minimize or even maximize some spots of your audio okay and something else you can do is add the the final cut pro limiter again it's built into final cut pro to find it you go over here to your effects and you can scroll all the way down. You can also search it, and it's under audio, is it levels? Limiter. And what you do, you just drop it on, and then we're gonna go back up here. And by the way, if if you, you've you added something, and this would apply, uh, apply to your video or, or even audio, and you don't see it, this window will uh, expand. So you notice right there, it was, it was hidden under there. So don't freak out if you don't see it because you can do that and go, wait, where is it? It's, it's right there. So open the limiter. Now there are a lot of different uh, schools of thought on this. Um, when you go to your limiter, I use default. Uh, Legacy I hear a lot of folks using, but basically by playing this, let me get to a point where I can hear the audio here. Um, Go here. This is a swivel pendant core. So I want the output to be at minus six. And that way it's not going to go over our, our magic number, right? I'm really excited. But now I can raise the gain. I'm excited about all of them, but this one just feels a little bit different. And if you notice what, here's the input, but here's the output. So watch the output as I change the gain. To the new class. This is a swivel pendant course. I'm really excited about this one. I'm excited about all of them, but this one just. Right now, you can. I want to play the difference with it on and off. So, again, if I just hit play. Welcome to the new class. This is a swivel pendant course. The difference? I'm really excited about this one. On. I'm excited about all of them, but this one just feels a little bit different. There are a lot of different things you can do in here. I find this is the simplest to use the limiter. Super simple tips anybody can use, like you, the next time you edit in Final Cut Pro. And if I missed one, let me know down in the comments what your audio tip is for Final Cut Pro. Hey, if you like this video, give it a like, consider subscribing. If you want to know more you can do with Final Cut Pro, check out the videos on the screen. I'm Kevin. I'll see you next time.